Welcome back to this regex series. In the last video, we had a look at ranges and quantifiers. Now I want to build a pattern with that. I want to match a word which looks like that. Any amount of lowercase characters, then digits, and then uppercase, and then one and only one exclamation mark. How can we match this exact pattern? The following word shouldn't match, for example. So here I also have the same elements in general, digits, lowercase characters, special character, one exclamation mark to be precise. Still, the first should match, this one shouldn't. Let's find out how to create such a pattern in this video. So I want to match exactly that pattern where we have lowercase, then digit, then uppercase, then exclamation mark. We can create this match with ranges and quantifiers. Actually, the simplest way to match this word is to copy it and put it in there. But yeah, that's probably not that helpful. So let's find a more regular expression way to do that. I want to match any word which starts with lowercase characters. That's the first part we can agree on. So let's add a range with any lowercase character. Let's now add a plus to say there should be at least one lowercase character, but it may be followed by any amount of lowercase characters humanly possible. So let's add a plus. You see, I match this part. I also match this part here on the right. So let's now build on in this expression. Now I want to have a word which starts with that, obviously. It should be followed by another set of digits, so 0 to 9, and that also may occur at, as often as possible or as wanted, but at least one time. Now let's say I then want to have uppercase characters at a minimum of one character, but then any amount of uppercase characters. And finally, it should end with an exclamation mark. Now, if I add more to this first word, it is met or matched up to this exclamation mark. The second word isn't matched though, because it doesn't fulfill this pattern. It does contain a portion which is lowercase characters followed by a digit. So this part up until the plus after the digit range would be met. But thereafter, we require a range of uppercase characters and an exclamation mark, and both is missing here. It starts with that, but that doesn't matter, because we're not looking at anywhere in this string. No, this order is the, the right order we expect to have. And this order is a must, it's not optional. Regular expressions are read from left to right, and hence the order matters. There are ways to kind of still write expressions where the order doesn't matter, but for now, let's stick to this single, to this simpler expression here. Now, one thing, uh, or one issue we have is, if I add more characters to the first word, uh, this doesn't match the full word, and it shouldn't, because the word should end with an exclamation mark. But if I add more characters, I don't want to have the word match this at all. I don't want to have the pattern match this word at all, I should say. It shouldn't match it up until to that point. It should find no match. And kind of similarly, if I remove that uppercase and exclamation mark part here, it also matches the lowercase and number part in the second word. Now I said the order matches, but that simply means it looks for this order anywhere in the string. I also want to tell it the word should actually also start with that and it should end with what comes at the end of the regular expression. To do this, there are two special characters. At the beginning of the regular expression, we can add this carré symbol or caret, what is it called? Caret, carré, circumflex, I don't know. So this is simply the character we need. And it should end with a dollar sign. Now dollar sign here has a special meaning. It doesn't mean the word should end with a dollar sign. It simply means what's contained between this carré, caret, and this dollar sign What's contained between them, that actually is the full word. This is why we don't have any match here anymore. If I add my previous rule set of 
A to Z and then an exclamation mark, we still have no match. If I remove that extra part at the end of the first word though, and I remove the second word too, now we have a match though, because now the full string which you passed is exactly a word with that order of characters. Anything thereafter, and even if it's only a blank space, will break it. And this of course is an often needed behavior. Think about passwords which you want to validate. Or email addresses, especially in email addresses. You want to have some text, an at sign, some text and a domain ending. You can't mess up the order. A word has to contain all these things in exactly this order. And this is what we enforce with this strange character and the dollar sign. Everything in between has to be included and included in this order. This is what we're saying, not more, not less. So this is how we build such patterns from left to right, potentially with these special characters at start and end to contain it in one word and respecting the order here in the match result too. If you omit the dollar sign at the end and the caret, caret, whatever at the start, then it also respects the order, but it matches anything which fulfills this criteria, no matter if something comes thereafter or if something comes in front of it. This is a key takeaway here. This is how you build such patterns with the tools you have. Now in the next videos, we'll have a look at matching email addresses and how to build such patterns because for regular expressions, a lot of understanding really comes by practicing it and seeing how things work together. So let's have a look at this in the next videos.